Hello everyone, welcome to a Not A Daily. I'm going to do some random runs. I've got a win streak of zero because I died on the Lilith run that we were doing instead of a daily because I failed on the daily. So I've got a few um, I've got a few items left to get before I get a thousand and one percent and I thought that what I try and do, run through some of these, uh, record some of these runs that I'm doing. See if I can catch a thousand one percent on camera. Let's take the pill. Let's relax. I don't care about that pill. Oh god, leave me alone. Lazarus. Lazarus is one where you have to decide whether to kill yourself early or not. Um, it's kind of a difficult decision to make often because you want to save this H. Whoa! Look at that little dude there. Chill out. Uh, you want to try to balance the opportunity to get a lot of deals with the devil on the second floor with the chance that you'll get lots of HP upgrades on the first floor. Uh, we can't really do anything here. Because if you get HP upgrades on the first floor, you want to make sure you get HP upgrades after you've respawned as whatever you call respawned Lazarus. Not not Dark Lazarus. Bloody Lazarus. Whatever. Um, which I, I believe is a, a damage upgrade for Lazarus. Which is why you want to do it. Uh, if you get HP upgrades on the first floor, you're not going to get a deal with the devil, so you can't sell these three juicy red HPs to the devil before you get an HP upgrade. <laughs> However, if you don't, then there's a good chance on the next floor you will be able to sell those HPs. That's up, that's to the shop that way. We want to find the item room. Maybe that'll influence our, our, our decision somewhat as to when to pull the trigger. Sometimes you simply never pull the trigger. You know, you invest so much in the first life and it becomes powerful that you really don't need the what ends up being a meager benefit of respawning as Lazarus. Uh, yeah, we'll take quad shot. Absolutely we will. This doesn't really affect our HP game. It doesn't change from life to life, so it has not remotely affected our decision when to die. Although I would like a tears upgrade. So if the boss could give us a tears up, then that's not an HP up. And when it's not an HP up, I am happy. Some of these rooms do take a fair amount of learning. Like, where'd you put yourself? It's difficult. Curse of the Lost. Yeah, not having a map on the first floor is probably the. You're gonna have no map on one of the floors. Better off it being the first floor. Might as well take this. We don't often get the opportunity to use some trinkets like the faded Polaroid because we're always going, well, the trinket I've already got is way better. That was, uh, ouchie. Take that. Again, we don't need to worry about that because, pardon me, how much HP have you got? There's no deal with the devil on this floor anyway. The sun card will show us the way on the next floor and Monstro is going to give us a tears upgrade so we can fire even faster with our multiple shot nonsense bullshit. Quad shot is the second most goody of the multi shot upgrades. 20 is 20, I think we've mentioned before, is the absolute best because it literally just doubles the amount of tears you have. Oh, I tried to dodge that, but I mean, I managed it, but I didn't need to dodge it. Uh, tears up versus. Oh, you see, this is what we didn't want. I'll take it. Tears up versus. Sorry. Number of tiers versus tiers down. Next up is uh, quad shot because it is not so much a tier down. Tiers down. Uh, help. Basically, you maintain more DPS quad shot, and you get four bullets out of your face. Four tiers, which is gravy. Excuse me. Too many flies. Uh, and then triple shot, of course, is the the least best. Uh, Robo baby is shit. Not really too pleased with taking it, but we didn't have a choice. It wasn't like the game was saying here, would you like Robo? Well, I got hit. Why am I even trying to get that? We have a sun shot. Oh, now I get the. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Well, we'll crack it anyway. Not getting hit on the boss is now more important because we have been hit on the floor. Why did I go into the shop? I haven't got any money. Dumbass. We'll come back and get that spirit heart when we know where the boss is and it feels like it'll be in this direction. We found everything else we care for, i.e. the item, for fuck's sake, the item room. 
Don't know why I'm playing so badly today. I feel like I'm rushing. I feel like I'm not as invested in this run as I could be. Also, now I think about it. Okay, so there's, there's three items I need to get. Three more items I need to get in order to earn the 1,001%, you know, mega nerd uh, accolade. No bombs, can't get that. Which are Godhead, Immaculate Conception, and Holy Crown of Light, which we saw on the last daily. Uh, if that's gone up by now. Which it may have done, I don't know. All those are Angel Room items. I didn't get a deal with the devil, which um, I guess I didn't deserve one. But at the same time, I still would have liked one. When do we use this sun card? Well, I'm hoping maybe to get um, I don't know, a blood bank or, or a, a, a demon judgment would be even better. Something I can tank all my HP into to try and get a benefit out of. And then just heal it as though it never happened. Uh, tactics are different, of course, on a not daily compared to a daily. You know what? I think Robo Baby is slightly better than Robo Baby 2.0. Because at least it's nearby. You know, it's kind of like a shitty incubus. Or a shitty uh, little brimstone or something. It's, sort of, it's shooting where I'm shooting rather than being off on the other side of the screen. And I can't even figure out how to get it to shoot. Uh, yeah, explosive. I will absolutely take this 10 times out of 10. Uh, maybe not 10. I'm trying to think of a situation where you wouldn't want it. I mean, if you've got something like Ipecac, you've already got super explosive shots anyway. Maybe... I don't know. There's got to be a situation where you don't want explosive evo. Maybe it's just if your tears are so shit that you want as many of them to actually be you know, damaging as possible. Just having a buttload of weak-ass uh, bombs stuck to an enemy might turn out to be worse. Maybe there's soy milk or something. But then again, I wonder if the bomb... The explosion is explosion damage, sort of not connected to your tear damage. I haven't found a single coin, by the way, in this whole room. I mean, we found coins, but we haven't been able to get to them. So if you had soy milk and explosive, you'd be sticking a shitload of shots to each enemy. Explosive shots. Any number of which could beat the shit out of them. If they work as explosive shots. Oh. Keep is one of those where Explosiva just does no, no good at all, because it's shots that get used up, unfortunately. Every time Peep jumps, all the shots attached to Peep, uh, attach. Peep jumps quite a lot. Probably shouldn't have to tell you that, you can see that for yourself. Although if it sticks around long enough, like that, boom, that damage is absolutely excellent. Ah, uh, what have we got here? Two of clubs, probably take that. I might take Ace of Spades over the um, Faded Polaroid as well. <laughs> this is a good item. I'm going to try and encourage Angel Room, Angel Rooms. So our way to get Godhead are Chaos from the shop, which ain't going to happen because we've now got two cents in the whole game, or Angel Rooms. So I'll take the two clubs and we'll take the Sun card and we found the item room. We can't afford the shop, so we'll just go. I mean, this could be a run where we're going to try and figure out how to get out of Boss Rush because I'm just accidentally finding the the boss room so easily and <laughs> straight down to the next floor we've gone really fast for saying that our damage is not stellar we're going nice and quickly I've just come straight out of the daily for what is it 11th? I think it's the 11th today where we took that one speed down pill and never got a bonus we never got a replacement for it another two clubs suits me fine so, even default speed on Lazarus here feels fast as hell. Uh, and I'm kind of grateful for that. I feel like I've had a speed upgrade since the previous run. There we go. One more, uh, one more of these. Please explode over the... Well, because when they explode into one of those little plastics, full health it is fine. If they're over a pit, they don't spawn the next level of minion. Now, apparently, they're not always going to spawn that level, but... Oh. Please keep away from me with your explosive shots attached to you. It's like saving Private Ryan over here. 
all these tanks with socks with grenades stuck in. Is it C4? Can't remember. Question marks, we'll take it. Friends still at the end, that's right. Now these little explosive uh, excuse me. These little explosivo shots could actually find us something really cool, like a magic mushroom or something. By it, you know, exploding a, a mushroom. Boom. Yeah, it didn't, but it could have. Nah. I'm happy with what we got here. Also, it means that we can apply some damage to something and then run away from it, which is really useful on rooms like this where you've, you've got to try and do damage and also dodge like a pro. You just don't have to worry about dodging because you're always already on the other side of the screen when you've done the killing blow to the enemy. That's obviously going to be a lot better for us. I just had a flashback to that map in UT99, which is like a sewer pipe. And now I'm wondering, did I get that from, like, PC Gamer CD? Or was that one of the maps? Because I used to love firing ripper shots. Basically around any map. But that one was outrageously good for it, because the walls were horizontal. The edges of the walls were flat. So you could get some really good angles. Bouncing ripper shots around the corner and whacking people's heads off. Because everyone's uh, same height. All the characters with the same height in UT99. I don't know if they're all the same height in more modern UTs, but they were the same height in UT99, and that's what counts. Here's a telepills, which is <laughs> bypassed this floor completely. Uh, which could be a, it's a bit of a shame, but do I want any of these? We can guarantee not getting greed. We can have a shitload of HP. Uh, I don't know. Might take the HP. This is a deliberation that I am not happy to be making. Let's stick with the cards. Mostly because if you're in a deliberation like that, you might as well just pretend that you never had the choice. <laughs> That's my philosophy, and I'm sticking with it. Uh, word and one. Quick worm could be good. Is it good? Don't know. I think it increases your shot speed, shot speed greatly. It doesn't increase your fire rate, unfortunately. Cupid's arrow, by the way. Piercing shots is um, a pretty decent tier effect, just in and of itself, per se. Uh, but it's not as good as Sagittarius, because Sagittarius comes with a speed upgrade. I think I'll keep my Ace of Spades, because I already said I would. Um, but it's really helpful to clear out rooms of enemies. Especially with four piercing shots going off at once. Anything that chases you down like this is just shat on by piercing shots. Well, we've not really leveled up quite as fast as I'd hoped. It's it's one of those, eh, take it or leave it, but it's not ideal sorts of situations when the first time you discover a telepills, it sends you to an error room and you can't get out. But we're here in the next floor. You know, it is where it is. Can't, can't take it back. There's nothing we could have done about it. We will make the most of the situation. And this is tank depth one, of course. Uh, try to find the item room. Basically, the item room. That's all I care about right now. Before... Ooh, careful. Trying to find the item room before we accidentally teleport ourselves out of the floor. Try and get an angel door. I don't know. I'm not 100% clued up on angel and devil room door mechanics. Um, and I don't mean literally how the hell does that door open. There was a wall solidly, clearly solid wall there a minute ago. And now all of a sudden there's this magic door that I can walk through. It doesn't make sense. What's happening? Is this some extra dimensional trickery or was it always there? And... What I mean is, there's, I think, don't quote me, your chance of a door opening increases whenever a door didn't open. So on one floor, the door doesn't open. On the next floor, your chance goes up to a maximum of 100%, obviously. And then when a door does open, it resets to 25%. Which 
Now, we didn't get a deal with the devil on the previous floor. We didn't get the door. But we didn't beat the boss. So I think our chances from the floor before currently apply to this floor. Now, we didn't get a deal with the devil on the floor before. We got the box. No, no, we did. We got the box and a deal with the devil at the same time because we didn't get... Yeah? With me? Which is strange. No, no, no. We skipped a floor. So that's where the odd floor's gone. Wow, that exploded too. Oh, it was the HPC of our shop. Um, these fucking rooms are taking forever, by the way. Retro vision. Okay, will we learn something? Give me something amazing. Failing that, give me anything at all. Emperor. Uh, gets us out of boss rush at least. Oh, we also have these uh, donation machines, of course, that we can explode in order to buy the thing that we want to buy. So I suspect that we have basically zero chance of getting. Well, not zero chance. We have a low chance of getting a deal with the devil or angel. We have a low chance of the door opening. Why are you giving me no fucking coins out of this machine? I want this. Thank you. And we slow down a considerable amount. Maybe we should have. Just thinking maybe we should have opened the. Uh, opened. Bought some HP there. This is a great time to have uh, piercing shots, by the way. And not a great time to have explosivo. So maybe explosivo sort of. is worse whenever your shots themselves are way more guaranteed to do the necessary damage than. Uh, than explosivo itself. We should, we should try to buy HP. There's no. There's a pill in here, what is it? Don't know. Been in there, what are you doing? We've gone completely the wrong direction several times already. I'm gonna go back in here to this uh, mob trap room and open two of the other chests. Hopefully get a key out of it all. Answers will give us some information. Give us some answers. <laughs> There's a lot of money, so we didn't need to blow up the donation machine quite so aggressively, but what's done is done. We can't go to the curse room until we get some more HP, but I'm feeling okay about the damage that we're doing, or at least the, the mad skills that we have. The damage, per se, is pretty sucky, but we have tier effects that somewhat mitigate the fact that our damage is pretty sucky. That's pretty good, but I'd rather go to the item room than... Again, we can just run away from these things. Once they've got a bomb stuck to them, we just make it, right? Uh, I'm not going to open that. We'll see what this is. Rules card. Rules Some doors card. require a blessing. Carry them with you. That is referring to the Mega Satan door. You have to be blessed by the angels, which means you have to kill the angels, which I'm not entirely sure um, necessarily constitutes a blessing. Libra. Sure, let's take Libra. We don't have a streak going on. That's the other thing. Uh, I haven't got a win streak. We'll take that. The lovers. Uh, to speak of. We can't get to boss rush at this speed. Um, so, we might as well take Libra, see what it does. It has reduced our damage, but massively increased our rate of fire. What Libra does is it balances out all of your stats. Irrespective of what they were. Every time you pick up an upgrade to any stat, you now pick up an all stats upgrade. So we're going to be getting slightly faster, we're going to be getting slightly more damage, we're going to get a slightly higher tier rate, slightly higher range, slightly higher look. You can see now that our damage is pretty abysmal. Oh, that, I fucking hate these things. Can I just... No. You can't deal... <laughs> How do you deal with it? Yeah, there's no way we get into boss rush now. We've completely tanked our damage with that Libra pickup. Hopefully we can get some strong... Any stats upgrades. You know, a damage upgrade will still be a damage upgrade, it just won't upgrade all our damage. And I'm gonna actually go back to that. Oh, fuck me. How many of those things showed up at once? Did you see that? There's like four of them. I don't even think there was a safe space to stand. I got stuck on that poop. Uh, here's the speed upgrade, which is an all stats upgrade. Uh, we know about that, it's retrovision. So I'm gonna go back to this demon judgment and see whether the demon judgment can give us something to help this run a little bit more because currently 
It is not helpable. <laughs> Having taken Libra, obviously we're a bit faster and everything feels a little bit more flowing. You know, being able to fire this fast is great, but when we're not doing enough damage to make that worth anything, it's it's difficult to be excited by it. Plenty more cash. We maybe want to take pay to play? We have got five keys, so I don't think that's worthwhile. We've got 24 bombs all of a sudden. Turn around and suddenly I'm knee deep in bombs. We can go to this room. There's some more HP, courtesy of the placenta, which we picked up ages ago. Don't forget we can still die. I haven't really found the opportunity to do so. I mean, maybe we just give all our HP to this guy. Justice. I mean, it doesn't have a spirit heart in it. I'm reluctant to take to give the HP to this. Like all of it. Because... Like, if we die, come back as respawned Lazarus. We don't really get much HP. This is really helpful. So, I'd want there to be some spirit hearts to back us up in order to give us the HP necessary to continue the run without, you know, dying permanently. For fuck's sake. Yes, perfect. Could have probably picked up an extra HP. Could have min-maxed that slightly better, I, I dare say. Are you going to give me something? Oh, it's fucking... I mean, Demon Babe is fine, but still. Let's take the Emperor card with us. Oh, let's just use it. <laughs> I don't want to backtrack all that way. Man, this run has not really been a good start to what could have been an amazing streak. Finally at the Necropolis 2. Only 20 minutes in. But we've had slower runs than this, well I have. I don't really fancy spending my... I guess we could spend one key on this, but I don't fancy spending the rest of the keys on the rest of it. We were lucky enough to get a penny out of the rock, but that's not really something you're looking for when you open those locked rocks. And you're certainly not looking for the grey chest behind it to have nothing but half a heart in it. Paralysis, Paralysis does nothing of value, but it does nothing of damage either, so... You've got to take the rough with this move, I suppose. You win some, you lose some. I've been... I've had worse runs. You know, I've, I've taken longer than 20 minutes to get to the Necropolis 2 in the past. Don't you worry about that. Ooh, careful. See, once we've stuck one, we can just leave it, which is the best bit. But we have to stick one and then continue to avoid until it comes to fruition. Right. So we're doing rooms one by one, I mean. It all adds up. You know what I mean? <clears throat> that wasn't like an innuendo or anything, it's just me saying you know, you know what I mean? Potentially no real reason. We've got this temperance card, so if we find spirit hearts or a, you know, heaven forbid, a health upgrade, we can use the temperance card to maybe try and get a second health upgrade in the form of a um, blood bag, but go full on trying to kill ourselves. Lazarus meta thing here. Which will be an all stats upgrade if it's in any stat upgrade. By such a tiny amount, it may no longer be worth doing. But I guess any all stats upgrade is better than no all stats upgrade once you've started yeah, thinking about it like that. Please, though. These bonies. These bonies killed me as a Zazel. You just need to keep going around them. Simple as that. Yo! Explosivo. Explosive more often, please. Great. Uh, at least the hollow here is super easy with piercing shots. We're not obviously <laughs> going to make it to boss rush. And what gave you that idea? Plenty of money now, considering we had fuck all at the start of this run. Right, so there's a thing here. That, what's it? Two of spades. Yeah, just use that. Take mom's box. Maybe we get a better trinket. Is that a better trinket? Maybe. We'll also take this. which allows us to carry two things. Then we'll go and get our Temperance card. Because there's a Spirit Heart here and we can afford it, I'm going to consider that a good enough HP upgrade. Plenty of money, but that's not what we're here for. What we're trying to do with this Blood Bag is to get it to pay out with the Blood Bag. Before we die. Or as we die. Whatever. Did not come to pass. 
We got a free play out of it, but it wasn't good enough. So you see, as um, Lazarus, you spawn with one HP. You respawn with one. Wow! Holy crap! We're doing very well. <laughs> All of a sudden. Careful of these, though. Our, eight, our rate of fire has gone through the roof all of a sudden. And our damage is actually not too bad alongside it. I mean, normally whenever you're having to deal with these Libra runs with the all stats upgrade nonsense, you're in trouble most of the time. Uh, hermit card. Well, there's our teleport card that we no longer need. Um, but in this case, we're putting out enough shots per second. And because, of course, they're piercing, which is going to help us with room clearing in general. We don't need to worry about these things, for example, bouncing around the room, getting in our way. What do we get here? Uh, left hand, no. I would like to be able to fly. Did we go to the item room? I don't think we went to the item room. We have a hermit card. Um, <laughs> so it's not all bad, but I think I... That was a very strong misplay. I just got um, lost in the drudgery of this run. Everything's changed pretty quickly here. We're not doing a huge amount of damage still. You can see that Mom is taking forever to die. None of these explosivo shots are going to help against Mom either, unless we get lucky and one of the enemies stuck with one happens to explode nearby a sticking out piece of Mom, right? But that's not very likely to happen. It's not something we can count on by any means. But it does mean that we're relying on our tears, but more importantly, we're relying, relying on the tears that are not explosive. So remember how low our rate of fire was when we first picked up quad shot? Yeah, we'll go up. Oh, the body. This basically makes everything better. I don't think this is going to be a Mega Satan run, so I'm not going to go um, playing the Angel, I'm not going to try and kill the angel statue to get key piece to do Mega Satan because it just ain't happening. Obviously, all stats normally applies to HP as well, but not this time. Oh, we're doing really well now, so that was probably a good time to respawn as Lazarus because having done so, it greatly got us so much better that we could get through those rooms to the mom fight and beat the mom fight without taking, I think, any damage, maybe, without taking more than one hit anyway. Hangman uh, could be useful in the future, so I'm not going to use it to just get that one key. As a little guess. The lovers is not that good for us. Uh, although the world is pretty decent, so let's open these. Oh, flight. What did I just ask for? Well, not just, but what did I recently ask for? It was flight. You are right. I was thinking of flight because I thought, you know, we could take the left hand and try and get Guppy. I think I've got what I consider to be the most important part of Guppy, which is the ability to fly. I mean, any better trinket would be great, but it's a pretty good twink, twink, twinket. It's a pretty good twinket. Um, the ability to fly gives us so much more maneuverability. Okie dokie. And, you know, obviously being Guppy, you get all them flies killing the shit out of everything, but I don't, I don't really care. We're doing enough damage. It may not be enough damage to carry us through the chest. It may not even be enough damage to carry us through the womb, but we have a lot of HP at least. Um, and we are doing an angel run, which is novel. And we are doing not a daily run, which is novel. So all in all, I think this is just a, a decent start. It's difficult to determine whether it's going to be a one run or a lost run or... You know, it, it could be a skin of our teeth thing. Or we could get really strong on the chest and... Oh, that's brilliant, well done. <laughs> Take random damage, who cares? Um, we could get really strong on the chest and beat the crap out of Isaac. Uh, a blue baby, but... We still have to get strong enough to beat the crap out of Isaac. We've only got... You know, this floor. The next floor. If, um... Oh, great. Answers. Neither of these is useful because we have Curse of the Lost. Um, if we get a deal with the devil on this floor, I'll be taking it because we have a ridiculous amount of HP. And mm, pretty much no more chances of ever getting uh, an angel room anyway. So there's no point in, you know, removing 
one of our strongest possible benefits, which is that. Oh, dear, oh. Dear. Um, a, a devil room item, just to try and finagle a uh, finagle. Another what? Oh, it exploded on me. That's not fun. Another um, angel room, which isn't going to happen. So. We'll take a deal with the devil if one crops up. We've already lost all the XP we had when we came down to this floor, at least the uh, non-red HP. We just have to continue to not get hit. I, I really hate this. I, I can't mentally process this room. They pop up and they disappear with such speed. But, you know, by the time I've realised that they're there and are shooting me, <laughs> and I have to get out of the way, and I have to try and shoot them, it's all over. One makes you lie, Bill. Relax. Look, we didn't not take a shitload of damage. Which kind of was the plan. We're pretty much guaranteed not to get a angel or devil room. On this floor. Simply because we had one on the last floor. And now we've taken red heart damage. We're not going to be getting one. We don't need to worry about it too much. So if these things will stop disappearing and let my explosivo shots actually do some damage, or any of my shots, if <laughs> being honest, you know, they're all, all my shots are basically impotent if they don't hit, which is all of them, and this fucking champion, die, yes, yes, boom, lol, bombs, eh. we'll stick with the lucky rock for now, it can give us some, um, it's giving us some more chest, lucky rock, lucky toe, Giving us a chance of getting all these extra chests. Yep, here's some point. Maybe it increases the output of chests as well. I've not even considered that possibility before. This is a, an interesting way of dealing with this room, but it's not. <laughs> it didn't bite me too hard, although it was threatening to. <sighs> I'm tempted to keep the lucky toe throughout the game because it can give us. Uh, way more chests on the chest if we can make it that far. What have we got here? The Hanged Man. This actually does nothing for us, so I'm just going to use it. Stop feeling like I need to keep hold of two things on our uh, on our card slot there. Uh, still no good, but now I've accidentally picked it up because it's in the doorway. Pop it here. Golden key is worth something. If we get um, any golden chests, so of course going to be worth something, but it seems unlikely. Okay, and these are W Polycephaluses. Don't really pose much of a threat. Whoa. Mostly because we can shoot straight through them. Yeah, Doppelganger also doesn't pose much of a threat. I wonder whether you can knock back the bomb rocks. No, the chasey bombs. Excuse me. What are we doing here? With the explosivo shots. We haven't got Curse of the Maze, and I'm pretty sure I came in a straight line from where I was before. That's also pretty good. It's a luck upgrade. I was looking for that mob trap room that was closed to us recently. And then we got full health, so now it's not anymore. I'm going to wait for spiders to explode. Come on. That gives us HP whenever we open a chest or a door. I think it was up here. No, that's the cursed room. There's no secret room there, it's on the other side. It's this way. Could do the cursed room, especially if we can find a way out. That's <laughs> pretty shit, I don't really want that. Um, if we can find a teleport card, we could do the cursed room, but there's no secret room next to it, so we can't get out that way, so... <sighs> Is there HP available? Maybe. We could take that trinket and give ourselves the benefit of this HP here. We've already taken a lot of HP damage, but it seems so min maxi. But then we could get something really good like ceremonial robes. I think we have to try. It's a red chest. It's perks and full health. Well, we take perks. Perks. We take full health. We go out. It costs us half a heart. And honestly, I don't give a crap. Half a heart is perfectly okay. In fact, it's good to be at a half heart interval because if you have you know, a bit of a bad time and end up taking a lot of damage, you get that permanent Polaroid invincibility. Pop up now. There we go. Uh, 
uh, before you actually have to die, which could actually save your run. So being at a half heart interval at this stage of the game, very useful indeed. Don't really want that. Don't really want that. I believe that Mom's box there, the thing producing all these trinkets for us, doubles the effect of your current trinket. Which is currently giving us luck, so I don't know whether it is currently doubling the luck upgrade that we've got. Ah, oh, that's really, really bad. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, we've got a core of Babylon of all fucking things. Don't know whether that is doubling our luck or not. Why have I... Oh, I must have got a placenta recharge. If it is doubling our luck, then that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I want to watch out for those explosions there. It seems like it's doing well because we're getting basically a chest on every single room that we beat. Saw credit does nothing. I'm not fighting the hush, no sir, rebob. So this is the first run in a new streak. And we're trying to get to a thousand and one percent. Why would I try and ruin it? I don't I don't need that. <laughs> With a hush fight, which could go catastrophically wrong at any moment. Usually the first moment. Ooh. Appreciate that. If you get any golden chests, that would be very useful. Case in point. Got a full health bill. Just Justice. card. Okay, so, uh, full health anyway. Just opening everything now. Obviously, points don't really matter to us, but having a bunch of stuff might matter. Let's use the answers, answers room and take... What are we taking here? Death. That's fine. Ah, there's no point wasting a full health pill just on... You know, a... Uh, a blood bank that could give you a HP upgrade, but... It's hard to imagine that that HP upgrade is actually any use to us. Anymore. What pills? I found pills and... Pheromone. Very well. Wouldn't mind the telepills, but never mind. Paralysis. Retrovision. Pills not really, um not really my favourite aspect of this one, to be honest. And with that a little bit. Forgot that they did a, a full cross. And uh, that's a red poop. Ah, yes, we'll take this. It compromises our luck upgrade to some extent, to a great extent. But I what I don't know is whether the damage upgrade that you get from this trinket is an all stats upgrade because of Libra or whether because it's a trinket it applies at face value. Like I don't feel like our rate of fire has gone up any amount at all really. Hmm. We don't seem any faster. Don't really want that. Not with the uh, trinket that we do have. What the fuck? fuck. <laughs> How's the chap supposed to avoid all this shit? Leave me alone already. I have one down. They could spawn anywhere, of course. I don't know if they can just spawn across the map or something. Completely ruin my day. We made it at least. Uh, HP type things. Let's um let's put some bombs down, see if we can get some HP out of these rocks. We did. It's gonna help. We've also got this full health pill. And a death card that we can probably just use straight away on mom's heart. Get some damage done. Maybe we should hold on to it for a while. If we don't want to waste death on the turrets, which although I historically take quite a lot of damage to these turrets, or one hit usually. Um, they come quite easily. <laughs> like your mama. Oh shit, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Good. Yes. And that's why we like it. Receivo. Um, yeah, we're going up. Oh, we couldn't have done Hush. We were far too slow. What am I even thinking? Didn't need the death card. <laughs> Didn't need the, um. No. Didn't need the full health bill. That was pretty good. Continue to not disappear. Esplosivo is now sort of coming into its own as we 
face single enemies with a lot of HP that don't disappear all the fucking time, like Monster 2 is about to do. Yeah, even when it does a normal jump. Boom. Decent. Not a million. Not a million, but recent. Ah, uh, we'll keep taking these, I think. Just because we're likely to get more half hearts. Well. Here we are. On the cathedral. As promised. I mean, once we... <laughs> once we get these tears stuck to them, we can do whatever, right? It's fine. You just bugger off. Piercing shots is superbly helping. Although... The explosive shots obviously stick to the first thing that they hit, so they're not piercing. That's fine. Alright, not so true though. Leave me alone. So it's only when we have to rely on our tear damage that we actually see how little we're doing. We saw how fast Mom's heart went down just because of the amount of explosive damage we got from sticking them all to it. And because it didn't disappear, which is lucky, if it had moved, we would have been spending a lot more time shooting at it. Trying to get it to come back into vulnerable position, but it, it died very quickly. Um, so we're going to basically be hoping to get Explosivo to work for us all the time. Isaac's another one where it could be difficult, but we do have a full health pill. I'm not afraid to use it because full health is 5 HP, which is actually a decent amount. More sticky shots on Isaac. I'm just going to send him to the next stage. He doesn't move until the actual flying around stage, which is that one. Which is honestly the easiest stage. This has gone fine. Um, there's a chance we have to wait for the explosions. We didn't. We're doing enough damage then that the, the Isaac gets to move to his next phase. Before we have to wait for the explosive shots. He has to do that much damage. Which is good. It definitely seems like the trinket is just applying straight damage, which makes it even better than it already was, and it was already really good. I think it's double damage, basically. But rather than that double damage being spread around all our other, you know, all our other stats, it's just applied directly to our damage, which is bypassing Libra, which is exactly what we want to see. Curse the Unknown doesn't really bother me so much as having four absolute gobshite items on the chest. Okay, well we'll take X-ray vision and GB bug. The secret room could be valuable, is what I'm thinking. GB bug can sort of apply random, whoa, status effects every now and then. Somehow we're going to have to gauge when we're at a half heart into And honestly, I don't know how to do that. There's another monster, by the way, so don't be surprised if something jumps on top of me. Yeah. Just, just keep moving on. Oh, that's even worse, actually. With Placenta... Like, we're not going to know when we're at full HP, because Placenta not recharging us is just Placenta not recharging us. It's random. It's like a half-life decay sort of thing. Radioactive decay is the usual term people use for that, but I wanted to get the term half-life in there so that people can actually be confirmed for once that Half-Life 3 is real. Um, the only way we can tell with full HP is to try and pick up HP and fail. It doesn't help us to know that we're at full HP. We want to know whether we're at a half heart interval. I genuinely think there's no way of knowing that. That was an easy fight. Appreciate that. I wouldn't mind if some of these... Uh, consumable drops wanting to be actually chests rather than just the ship that we've got so far. I'm not taking turdy touch because it it sort of capitulates, doesn't it? It's one of those, you're going to take damage items. I'm not here for taking damage. Honestly, pretty surprised that we haven't taken... I'll take this. Full now we know we're at full health. <laughs> we already had another one. Um, I don't know what I was going to say, so... Just pretend I didn't. We're doing really well. Somehow. Try and kill one of them whilst dodging the other one if that's entirely possible. Yes, it is. There we go. Try and close it to pop up sideways like this. Oh, turns out we'd already done a lot of damage to that one. There's another one? Oh. Nope. There was a lot of explosivo shots stuck to a silkworm, which is kind of funny. 
pleases me that that was a situation that happened. I'm not worried about creep, of course, we can fly. Yeah, any um, any time one of these wanted to be a fucking chest rather than a consumable, that would be great. We've not really got very much value out of our chest, which is a shame. Hierophant, that's, that's good. That gets us two extra spirit hearts, so we're currently not even worried about... I uh, don't think we need a damage, uh, speed upgrade, a uh, rate of fire upgrade. I'm not even worried about getting to red HP now. We've, I don't think we're taking a hit yet. Uh, which is probably a bit premature. These easiest of enemies often manage to hit me by jumping further than I anticipated them doing. Uh, yeah, it's, I think it's a tears upgrade slightly, which makes it a slight all stats upgrade. But eh, uh, such a slight all stats upgrade, it's not worth talking about. If we can stick it with explosivo shots when it's doing that really annoying, impossible to dodge bullet hell shit. Yeah, like that. We can just concentrate on dodging and it'll die. A chest with able in it. You absolute wanker. Game. Seriously. Let's um, let's have a look over our contract. Here. I get to the chest on a bullshit run. You give me a maze balls item so I don't have to fucking figure it out for myself. Where's your half the bargain? I don't feel like you're holding it up at all. It's dead. The other one died anyway. <laughs> Honestly, I do not think we're going to get a better trinket. But we don't have a different space bar item, so I'm going to use it whenever it's available. Double damage for the entirety of every floor ever. All these rooms, double damage, are not affecting us in the Libra way. It seems pretty solid. If you want to do that all the time, that would also be splendid. Man, what sort of shape is this floor, though? Oh, yeah, let's just be in another room that is a dead end and has no value. We didn't even get an orbital, which is outrageous. Nor a book. That's good. I think that's probably the first time we've been hit. It's the first time we've been significantly hit. Maybe the second. Can't do Mega Stan. Honestly, I <laughs> couldn't do Mega Stan. A, because we can't get in, and B, because we kind of suck. Despite the fact that we're doing okay, we kind of suck. Yeah, brilliant. Nope, don't need that. One of these trinkets respawns you as the lost if you die. Honestly, although we have Curse of the Unknown, I really don't feel like we're anywhere near death. Not even an urgent item, huh? Well, we're near the boss, obviously, because there's no other direction to go. I hate this. I don't know if standing still guarantees you not to take hits from those random feet, but... I just don't know how to, how to work. Did we take x-rays with... Yeah, we did. So, we'll know when we get to the super secret room. Ten bombs, wow. You know what? When you've got 40 bombs... What you really want is 50 bombs. Cursed by riches in that respect. Ank doesn't really give us much. Come on, let's get this over with, game. Oh, what the fuck? How did we avoid that? What is happening? Let's try and um, get all the explosivos on and then just ignore the enemy. Is that working? That's working. There it is. Hopefully there's something awesome in the super secret room, because if there isn't... Well, there isn't. Pheromones, relax, telefills. Is that a different colour? No. What? Right, I see. Full health is going to be our go-to here. At least it's an easy room just before the boss. I think, um... We were kind of saved here by the curve horn. Because it increased our damage to such a great extent. So we really didn't need to worry about the Libra pickup, which I only took because, you know, we had to take something on this run. And Libra didn't completely screw us over. We're nice and fast. We've got an excellent rate of fire for saying that we've got quad shot. Um, and, ooh, the explosive shots teleport with him, which is really good to know. Well, that's our first win. We didn't pick up any of the items that we needed to pick up, but win we have nonetheless, so that is... Win streak of one. Thank you for watching this episode. The upload schedule for this is probably going to be very erratic, but I hope you will join me for the next one whenever I put it up, and we will continue the streak then. See you later.